It's time for our hero's second task. I hope it's not too big of an ask. This week on D&D Minus. All right, welcome back to D and D mine. Is this? Here's the question. This bit, which I like and is important, so people know what the fuck's happening in our podcast. But I now need a way to open it that isn't na 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 because I did that. Or welcome back to talking. To, so I need give me a profession. One time you can do the oh hello there, but then you can't do that again. No, I do that every time I do a dungeon messages corner show host. Um, like, <laughs> Boom, and you start. Oh, like a square, 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 square. And welcome back to Talking D. I'm here with Achum the Cat. Hello again. Hi. And No Illusions, portrayer of Vardos the Chase. No Illusions. Welcome to the show. I'm so excited to finally be here. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Well, Achum, why don't you fill us in on what happened last episode? It's been a little while. All righty tidy. So we fought these, uh, what are they called? Grub thugs? That is two episodes two ago. Episodes I'm ago. Gonna go Dude, I know, no, 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 no. I'm saying after that, okay. they escaped into the kitchen. We saw a, a person f- zooming by on a bike and they were like, that was so dope. What up? Hi, you're the coolest guys ever. And then we went into the sewers, which are, apparently there are sewer people, allegedly not rat people. Then they were like, oh, yeah, everybody's poor here. And wouldn't it be nice if you guys got on do who wants to be a bajillionaire, which is a sort of fight to the death squid games esque sort of thing that people do. And then we were like, yeah, why not? So we went and we're on, we got on TV, which is great. And uh, we fought a bunch of Bitcoin. And uh, now we're Bitcoin bros, <laughs> I believe. I don't remember any of that, to be honest with you. <laughs> I remember the coins. I remember fighting coins. I, I, there I was, was coins? Like, that's, that's, why, that's why we do this thing here. Honestly, it's good to have both sides of the conversation. I remember it all. And. And uh, Vardos over here does not. So. No, I'm, I'm Noah. Vardos would remember. Oh, I'm Noah. oh you're right. Oh, you know what? You're so right. So I'm stoned. Vardos. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Noah. We got to get Vardos stoned this season. That's what we're learning from this. All right. Thank you so much for joining us. Let's head in to the adventure. Okay, dog. Also, Gravy was there the whole time. As the scales are hauled away <laughs> by a giant crane and the biting coins are gathered by crew into sacks, You find yourselves, all four of you, sitting on a red plush couch, being interviewed by none other than Dispater himself. What a performance indeed. And without the use of a single one of their three lifelines. Well, after a round like that, I think it's time we get to know our contestants. Now, some of our internet sleuths managed to connect you all with a break-in at a Starbucks this morning. And since then, the footage has gone, can we say it? Hashtag viral. So why don't you tell me, what was the plan there? Were you looking for something or are you just a group who needs their morning frappuccino? Oh my God, is someone actually going to ask Gravy what the fuck he was thinking? <laughs> I just want to point out that not all of us uh, endorse vandalizing other people's property. So there's we there's we, there's a there's a mixture of feelings on this uh, on this subject within our group. Not all men, yeah, not uh, all absolutely, men. yeah. No, and that, you've got your own uh, trending hashtag, which is hashtag bootleaker cop, and uh, it's it's trending. People people are fans. I just want to point out the Starbucks Corporation. Like they're supposed, they're known as like maybe a little bit liberal, but not really, right? I mean, <laughs> moving stuff. All right. Well, we've got a question here for Achoom the Cat from one of our mm. Twitter followers. Um, that of course is the hell version of Twitter, where no, no. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> that one's called X, actually. Yeah, that, that, one, that, one, one's just yeah, that one's called there. X. I, I wrote this and my imagination was not good enough to see how bad Twitter would get. My version of how Twitter is just Twitter where everyone but you is Hitler. But yeah, a choom, you've got a... You've got a question mm. here from one of our users. At Bartholomew the Mouse says, you suck. I would like to roll to find Bartholomew the Mouse in the audience. Yeah, would you like to roll an agility check to give him a really good tweet back? She should get advantage since it wasn't a question. Do you mean dexterity check? Dexterity, yeah. Or do you mean perception to fucking find him? No, a dexterity check. He tweeted at you. Dexterity check. That's a nat one. That's a nat one. <laughs> you look up. From your little kitty pause, like you're about to type something, you look up, Bartholomew yeah. the mouse is standing on top of your phone. He slaps you in the face, runs away. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fucking mouse, man. He's gone. God damn it, I hate that fucking mouse. I don't even have a phone. <laughs> what? <laughs> all right, well, good luck to all of you and your crew on the next task. Now let's play Who Wants to Be a Bajillionaire? And as the couch descends into the floor, you notice that the battle arena you were just in has changed tremendously. The floor has been filled with water, and islands and bridges are now the only land spotted across the Colosseum floor. But more importantly, just in front of the small wooden island where you perch is a truly terrifying sight. A giant, building-sized piece of paper stares down at you with dark red eyes and slathering paper jaws. Dispater's voice booms from all around you and says, All right, everybody, it's time to split the bill. Everybody, <laughs> roll initiative for me. You're going to fucking make us do math again, aren't you? Is it like the bill in, uh, what's that government rock thing from like the 90s? Ooh, that would be a great idea. <laughs> 16. Fuck. 11. Yep. I'm just a bill. I'm just a bill on the hill. All right. Let me send you all this map. Hmm. We get a map. Oh, you didn't think, you think I forgot the map? Never. Never forget the map. I felt naked without a map. I right. bet the map tells us exactly what we need, just like it has. I before. bet the map winds up with frogs on it. <laughs> <laughs> I bet, I bet Eli bet. can't stop me from putting frogs on the map. I'm so excited for you to lose because there's going to be a setting they turn on where it's Dungeon Master can only be the only one to create frogs. And when that day happens, that's the whole episode is I'm just going <laughs> to gently create frogs create. and destroy them oh, again in front of you. I would love, I would love for you to make a frog. I'd like to immediately start jumping from thing to thing like a golden retriever who's got the zoomies. <laughs> when, yeah, yes, when your turn comes, I am here for that. All I'm right. Doing it already, just for the record. All right. First up is Vardos the Chaste. All right. I was afraid you were going to say that. Let's see. It's a giant toilet paper roll monster. Giant receipt. Giant receipt. Don't you come for ChatGPT's digital art like that. It did its best. <laughs> it's one of those uh, those CVS receipts. Is it like Micros paper? No, I was thinking Walgreens receipt. Okay. Specifically Walgreens, but not CVS. Because because those yes. are thirty seven feet long. Because they're so long. That was my thought. Yeah. And technically owned by the same company. All right. I don't have any kind of like heat based attack. Could I like hit him with my sword? Or is he too far out in the water for that? You can move to him and then hit him. He is on top of an island, I will point out. All right. I'm going to leap onto the island and, and sword, sword him as I do. Ooh, fantastic. Roll that uh, attack roll for me. 23. 23. That will Ooh. hit. But then I get an, another attack, though. I get to attack twice. Yes, you do. But I'll, I'll tell you what happens with that second attack in a second because you're going to want to mm -hmm. use it. So, Vardos, you sail through the air, leaping from this little dock above the water onto the island where the giant bill stands. And even though, again, like I said, this is like the size of a building you'd see on the street. As you come landing, you sail your sword across the paper and it slices cleanly underneath your sharpened blade. And for a moment, the two pieces of paper hover in the air, doing absolutely nothing. And then... They begin to fold, 
folding in on themselves over and over and over again until they turn into paper airplanes and two giant evil toothed looking paper airplanes (sighs) now stare down at the rest of you. Oh, I wanted to mess with the receipt and do the cat dog thing where you just unroll it way too much for no reason. (laughs) (laughs) Into the water. So it's like, damn. And Dispater's voice booms from all around you and it says, wow, they've already summoned the paper pains. That's really fucking bad. I'm just I'm gonna say it so that is they a, get worse. It's just shit tits. Just so you know, just so you know, they get worse. That was some of the better ones. So All right. You get a second attack. Oh, it's pains, but like planes. Yes. All right. So mad. No, I get it. I get why you pointed it out. It. Yeah. Thank you. You're gonna love that so much in the laugh bank. No, I'm gonna make you love that joke. So much. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. The laugh bank has made me mad with power. <laughs> yeah, you never should have been given that. Uh... Most of the laugh bank is just like me t- telling personal story. I never makes the air. I just, you know, <laughs> jeep around about my favorite board games and then turn it into <laughs> MP3 for myself. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. All right. So I'm going to use my second attack to attack the laugh bank. Ooh. <laughs> no, I am going to wait. No, that's not. That wouldn't really do. I guess the best thing I can do is is attack him again with my sword and see what the airplane slashes into. Sure. Uh, roll that attack for me. Sixteen. Uh, yeah, that'll hit. So you raise your sword again. You slash down again, and that paper pane splits again cleanly in half. The paper folds around itself once more, and then those pieces of paper dive underneath the water. But before they do. You see a flash of teeth, oh, and you hear Dispater's voice say, Ooh, and at least one lone shark is now in the game. Oh, <laughs> <Jesus>. <laughs> lone shark. <laughs> Thank That's you. That's a paper shark thing. They're sharks. Thank you. Okay, so now there's one paper airplane just hovering. Mm-hmm. It's a hovering paper airplane, and one of them has turned into a lone shark underwater. Uh, no, it's turned into two lone sharks. Which, if we stay out of the water, shouldn't be able to hurt us. Just don't go in water. I probably, feel like yeah. it could jump up and <laughs> attack Oh, us. my God. Look, that would make this encounter really boring and terrible and the episode yeah. 14 seconds long. But I absolutely need you guys to do what no shark movie ever does and just stay out of the water. And the lone sharks are like, fuck, ah, damn it. Right. Water creatures. If, Can't even jump that high. It's such a commonly uh, mistake. People assume. If we drive the ratings of the show down enough, theoretically we mm. win. You're <laughs> telling us we cannot <laughs> jump the sharks. We have ah! to fight them. Oh. <laughs> All right. Achoom. Okay. I am going to firebolt the fuck out of the one I can see, which is Ooh. the one that's above. Dude, that's going to be... 18 to hit. That'll hit. Oh, you should say smile, All you right. son of a bitch. <laughs> smile, you son of a bitch. Why am I listening to the dog? Because okay, Here we go. Well, Walking. first of all, that was very clearly Heath and Ryan, the podcaster, not okay, gravy. That's 20. That's 20. Yeah, that will hit. With fire. Fire damage. Yes, the paper pane gets cut clean in half by your beautiful fire bolt, and two pieces of paper sink under the water. Invisibly. Well, now they're all under the water. All right. I'm just going to point out that if everything's invisible, it's really weird that we have a map. <laughs> so now, presumably, we have four loan sharks to deal with. Mm hmm. And a useless map. Mm hmm. Okay. Are the loan sharks made of paper? Because they're just like disintegrating in the water now, right? Yeah. Dispater's voice booms over the, I guess, the podcast because you, Heath, said that. And he's, and he's like, like no, it don't doesn't. Don't think about it. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> we had already spent a really long time on this battle encounter when we that occurred to us. Not it's their main taking questions, Dick. They're made out of <laughs> but what are those things? Card tard tech? Card tech. Hard oak tag? Hard oak tech? tech? There's waterproof paper. What? They're waterproof paper. Get back to the battle challenge. Are you describing plastic, plastic right now? <laughs> that, that's no, called plastic. Not that. <laughs> that would make the thing not make sense again. All right. A choom. Movements. Anything. Bonus action. Oh, I'm I'm not I don't want to touch the water. Thank you. I am a cat. And um 
that is a hostile work environment. So all right, be over here. Excellent. Good to know. All right. Next up is Damien. You are up next. Really? Mm-hmm. I didn't know 11. That was pretty low. Is everybody topped up on health? Nope. I am. I'm good on health. Sure not. What are you at, Achum? I am at 16. I am about half gone. Okay. Exactly half gone, in fact. You're still standing next to me, right? I am indeed. Okay. Then let me check cure wounds because I've never actually cured anybody. Oh, I have in my the last arc. Oh, okay. It's a touch one. Yep. That counts belly pets, I think. Oh, absolutely. I'm going to roll over onto my back as a free action and you can rub, <laughs> rub my belly. Or I'm going to just nuzzle up against your knee. A right. Bit. Okay. You know, yeah. Get a little snoot boop. Yeah. He heals you for four seconds longer than you want and you scratch him. <laughs> <laughs> you may heal me, but not on the white part of my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So I am going to cast Cure Wounds on a mm-hmm. chum. Do it. Thank you. That will be eight points. Ah, oh, well appreciated. Thank you so much. And then with my bonus action, between Gravy and Vardos, what, so like, I assuming that we have to go in the water, do either of you guys have anything that's sort of helpful in this situation? Because I can give you bardic inspiration on whatever your next action is. Okay. I don't have like a harpoon, if that's what you're asking. Yeah, or like any ability that's like works. I am a golden retriever, so I'm pretty sweet with swimming. <laughs> I'm known to go swim out and like retrieve stuff like sharks or whatever. Mm. That's what they're known for. <laughs> Retrieving sharks. <laughs> when I think of golden <laughs> retrievers. <laughs> Pond sharks. Yeah. Uh, I guess Gravy hasn't gone yet, has he? I've not. No. No, he hasn't. Okay. I'm going to cast... Bardic Inspiration on Gravy as my bonus action. Ooh, what do I get? Well, first I got to do the lyrics, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I'm going to whip out the loot after a chum is like rubbing all over my leg and kind of like wiping some of the hair away. And I'm going to be like... Oh, and, and also rubbing off a little snot. Are you going to <laughs> you gonna a name of spell? I do. Do you want The Cure's Boys Don't Cry or Black Sabbath Iron Man? Iron Man for sure. Okay. So I whip out the loot and I sing... <laughs> Now the time is here for Iron Man to spread fear. Vengeance from the grave kills the people he once saved. And I'm going to cast Bardic Inspiration on Gravy. And so he, that essentially means you have an additional D8 on any ability check, attack roll, or saving throw once within the next 10 minutes. Nice. So if you do like a fancy ability thing, like you'll get a bit of an advantage. Yeah. And I jump around you and try to like playfully bite your ear a little bit in uh, <laughs> <laughs> So I have a dog and a cat and a loot. What else can one ask for? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Vardos is over there. <laughs> and Vardos is fighting the demons as a part He's of your fucking the job. battle challenge. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm licking your forearm for no reason for so long. <laughs> for so long. Okay. Okay. And wait, now I'm going to go over and lick your forearm. It's scratchy and weird. <laughs> just so you know. All right. I do like this. This is He's good. my friend. Whose licks do you like better right now? Ooh, no, I can't say. That would be... Me. All right. Well, before Damien can answer that gravy, you are up. All right. So I can definitely jump from there to there. Podcast listener, uh, you can't see this because you can't see anything, but Anna is using <laughs> the new point tool available to us I on DMD Beyond. I'm not. That's not me. To gently lick at Damien Dark Crane's arm. And it's. I'm very impressed. Okay, now I'm gonna... Now I'm gonna wait, 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 wait for me, wait for me, wait for me. There you go. See? No, it tickles, it tickles. I'm gonna do my thing. I'm gonna do my thing. This is nothing, Radio. Oh, just so you know, this is nothing. <laughs> There's nothing happening for our audience, right? This is less, this is more than death for our poor audience. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna jump over to this island next to Vardas. Mm-hmm. And I think the plan is with these paper sharks near us, I'm thinking me and Vardas do some two sword action in a scissors motion because scissors beats paper. <laughs> mm. Oh, Vardas, you with me on this? I'm, I am absolutely with you on that. I don't think I can do stuff on your turn, but I like it. He sure can't. I'm going to do like a sword thing. You just get your sword with it and like a scissors, like a scissors motion. Cool. Okay. I'm just going to assume you, I'm going to assume you agree with this. Okay. 
So I'm I'm doing it, and I'm I'm going to attack the uh, the the shark right there. Now you can't see the sharks right now; they are under the water. Would you like to try to see them? I feel like I can smell it. You can try to perceive them. I will let you do an investigation or perception check. I will tell you if you do well enough, because they are sharks. Sharks aren't exactly difficult to spot in the water. If you can roll me a 15 or higher, I will show you where two of the sharks are. Ooh. Yeah, that's a critical fail. <laughs> <laughs> I am so sorry to do this to you, Heath, but I am going to have to insist that you fall into the water, that you stick your head <laughs> In the water, and you fall into the water right next to this wooden oh island. Oh my god! And you do it like a golden I'm retriever. For help. Uh, uh, I'm but gonna, I will say this: <laughs> when you fall into the water, two of the sharks become visible. Oh. I can see them now. I can see them now. <laughs> I have because they're right here. I'm right here. They're attacking. I'm I'm next to the sharks. Everybody, you are next to the sharks. Uh, bonus actions. Anything? Yeah, I'm gonna. Attack them with the sword. You know what? Yeah, let's let's give you at least one attack. Let's give you one yes. attack. I'm not going to give yes. you both of your attacks, but I'm going to give you one sort of desperate slash of the sword. Wait, is doing the check my like attack? Yeah. So the perception is your action for the turn, but I'm okay. going to give you a a bonus attack of of desperation, if you will. Got it. All right. So I'm rolling to hit. Mm -hmm. It does not matter because you rolled a nine. So yeah, gravy falls. <laughs> Face first into the water, desperately sort of slashes Tirali around in the water, but these lone sharks easily avoid your blows. Guys, this is really, really badly. I'm just, <laughs> I tried to, I tried to smell, but they're right here. I need help. Guys, <laughs> that's all I can hear. Sorry, man. I, I don't, I don't I like know. swimming, though. No. Swimming's fun. Do you see me? <laughs> Odds are the other two were like right here. <laughs> this is what the pointer tool is for, sir. Sir, please use your pointer tool. The other two are probably right here. Right this now. is America. Yeah, right, right this is here. America. Before moving. Use your pointer before tool. moving. I would well, guess, yeah. Vardos is about to find out. Vardos, I'm going to have you make a dexterity saving throw in a moment. Here's what I will tell you. If you can make a 20 dexterity saving throw, you will not even get an attack just now. You will handily dodge what's coming for you. I don't think I can get a 20. I got a five, which is... You got a five. All right, great. <laughs> Oof. So then, yeah, this shark is going to leap out of the water and attack you. Don't worry, I'm going to make it roll an attack roll still, but just thought there'd be a, a moment of coolness for a bite here. That's going to be a 20 to hit. Yeah, 20 hits. Yeah, so it sails through the air and takes a chomp out of you. It's going to do 14 damage. Jesus. But it is now visible in the water behind you. I also found one. I, I, that was just, that was my Noah voice. <laughs> you, you got bitten so hard you turned into Noah. Right. <laughs> and that is the lone shark's turn. Great. Next up is... Probably another shark, right? Uh, the next shark, yeah. Noah, make that dexterity saving throw for me again. Oh, oh Lordy. Noah. Nine. That's a nine. All right. I will roll for the shark to attack. That's a six. That will not hit you. So this shark goes sailing by you, Vardos, and becomes visible. All four lone sharks are now visible. Their fins are now visible in the water. And of course, Gravy, you are staring directly into their dark, <laughs> papery eyes. Guys, we found four of them. Doll like. Okay. Doll like. Yeah, that's, you know what? People use that for sharks all the time. It's good. It's good stuff. I like it. Draws. Yeah. Gravy, you are face to face with one of these sharks under the water, and it is his turn to try to take a big chomp out of you. Because he is in the water and not jumping out to get you, I'm going to give him advantage on this attack. So that will be a... Well, that's an eight, so that won't hit. And that is a six, so that won't hit. So I don't fucking <laughs> know how. My dungeon master <laughs> skills fail me, but this... I dodge like Neo underwater somehow. But like dog Neo. Yes, exactly. Like, were you ever playing with your friends underwater and you were doing like water karate and you accidentally did some absolutely sweet shit? No. Okay. I well, meant to never do that <laughs> sweet shit. <laughs> me neither. But it's dungeon, it's a fantasy <laughs> setting and in fantasy settings, you can actually do that. So this shark is going to swim straight past you and miss you entirely. I take out a cape and I do like a bullfighter move. Exactly. On it, I feel like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
but in the water, so it's super slow. Full shark. <laughs> All right, perfect. And then this other shark next to you is going to get a chance to take a chomp gravy because you are right in the water next to it. That's going to be a 21 to hit. That will hit. That will hit. And that will be 11 damage from the Sharko. Like biting? Like biting, yeah. Okay. Where did I get bit? I'm going to say it grabs you right on the arm. The non-sword arm. Got it. Vardas, you are up. All right. I'm going to go after Lone Shark 1 because that's the one that bit me. Yep. Lone Shark 2 is the one that missed me. So I am going to attack with my sword and see if I can split him down to his constituent parts. Ooh, do it. 16. Uh, That will not hit. No? Wow. Fuck. All right. Well, I'm going to do it again. All right. (laughs) 19. 19. That will hit. Yeah. So Vardos, you slash your sword through the water, but it sort of takes a while for you to get used to the like water resistance. But then it bobs up to try and snap at your sword and you plunge your sword in. Once again, the paper splitting cleanly in half and then it flies up into the air, shakes off the moisture and the two halves fold into paper chains. You see them weave in and out amongst each other until the long snake-like creatures form in midair in front of you and then land at your feet. You are now facing two chain flails. (laughs) <laughs> okay, just so you all know, uh, you're going to fuck it. I'll make all my own laugh bank and it's just me <laughs> laughing at my own jokes the whole time is what I'll do. Uh, ha, ha, ha. All right, Vardos, movements, anything. I will say I am not going to count you as engaged with either of these chain flails because they just came into existence. So you can move if you would like. All right, I'm going to jump back over here so that I can protect a chum. Yeah, so Vardos jumps from the little wooden (laughs) island where the two chain flails are back onto the dock where you started your battle and strikes a fearsome pose in front of the lone shark and the two chain flails that currently exist. All right, Achoom, you are up. Okay, is I'm not engaged with this shark over here. You are not, no. It is, um, I think it has to succeed in hitting you. So can I move back here? You can't climb the walls um, because they are very, very, very tall. God damn it. You can go all the way back to the very back of the dock, but... I'd like Uh to go back to the green room and have a seat. (laughs) Yeah, exactly. (laughs) I I would like to go over here, actually, if you don't mind. I could go over here. I'd like to have my SAG after card checked. I'd like to hold production. (laughs) I'll I'll, I'll be sitting on this bench right here. Yeah, you can go back to the back of the dock, but you can't climb these Colosseum walls because they are very, very, very high. Okay, good to know. And I would like to... I would like to bestow a curse on it, but one sec. <laughs> oh, you're doing like the cat by the koi pond thing where you just reach in and bat mm. at the lone shark? Cat in the koi pond style, I'm doing it. Bap. You're going to try and bap this uh, lone shark that tried to bite you? And curse it. Fantastic. And it needs to make a wisdom saving throw, right? It needs to make a wisdom saving throw. Fantastic. Will a two save? It will not. Actually. It will not. All right. Tell us. The consequences of that curse. Okay. While cursed, the target must make a wisdom saving throw at the start of its turn. If it fails, it wastes its action. That turn doing nothing. Love it. Okay. All right. Damien, you are up. Okay. So can I do my bonus action first? Let me double check. Yeah, so you can you choose when to take a bonus action during your turn unless the bonus action's timing is specified. Okay. Uh, then I am going to cast Bardic Inspiration again as my bonus action on Vardas. Oh. Podcast listener, I gave him a yellow outline. I don't know what to say. <laughs> you, you know what it is though, right? N- no. Okay. <laughs> you essentially get an extra D8 on any attack roll, ability check, or saving throw. Okay. You get it once within the next 10 minutes. All right. And you can do it after you roll the roll. Yeah, it says that this can be added after seeing the roll, but before knowing the outcome. But because we're so quick on our outcomes, like, you know, 
Because Eli's too good of a DM. Really. That's yeah, what I just yeah. I'm too good at my, I'm a, too, I'm a weaver. I must weave. Yeah, it's just because we're so pretty. Yeah. So like, you know, if you roll badly and we're like, ah, oh, fuck, maybe you can be like, oh, but I use Bardic Inspiration and we can get away with it. Right. So premature contactulation. I don't know. There's a, there's a premature ejaculation pun in there somewhere. Oh, absolutely. Sure. There is. Heath? There always is. Get on that, please. And I'm going to then move next to a chum. Mm. And I am also going to kind of, my action is going to be, I'm going to like dip my finger in the water and try and persuade the lone shark to bite my finger. Ooh, I love that. Give me, um. Pull my finger. Pull my finger. <laughs> what is Pull my that? Finger. That's a, yeah. Give me a, give me just a straight up persuasion roll. Yeah. Okay. I love this. Ooh, 11. Mm, we shall see. Okay. We shall see. All righty. Gravy, you are up. You are in the water face to face with the shark that is clamped onto your arm. Oh, the shark didn't even let go? No. It's a shark. Yeah, it's a shark. It's only been like 10 seconds real time. <laughs> okay. Can I do any of that? Is any of it real? The stuff you hear that you're supposed to like punch them in the gills or poke their <laughs> eyes or any of that bullshit? You're supposed to put your hand on their, their snout and push them downward. I don't think that's true. <laughs> I think you just fucked. I think this just doesn't. It's just it's all feel good shit. I mean, anyway. you're not supposed to go near sharks. Just generally, like, don't fuck with sharks. But I feel like we're fucking with sharks. Just attack it. It says, "Don't play dead." That's all I got. Or get out of the water. <laughs> Who thinks play dead was the answer? First of all, I'm going to become a Christian surfer in an inspirational movie after this. Oh, absolutely! Whoa, I love that. <laughs> um, the only way for a gravy to be less likable. <laughs> Hey, everybody jumping in once again to thank you so much for listening to the show. We love making it for you. And from the feedback, you guys really love listening to it because it's just such a good time. It's so much fun for us to get to play these games together and joke around and you get to be in on the action of that. And speaking of getting in on the action, how'd you like to put a little dosh on the line? Why am I talking like a guys and dolls gangster? I don't know, but if you'd like to slap down your niner on our podcastification, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash D and D minus where for as little as a dollar an episode, you'll get a commercial free version of the show where you don't have this part in the middle where I'm yapping at you, but you'll also get access to all sorts of cool bonus episodes. We've got behind the scenes, dungeon masters corners. We've got not one, but two bonus episodes. One of which was DM'd by the amazing Heath and Wright for our Christmas tacular. And again, you can get all of that over at patreon.com forward slash D and D minus. But if you don't have money, you know what you do have? thumbs. That's right. Send us your thumbs. Cut them off. Send them to the P.O. box and we'll sell them on the black market to thumb perverts. <laughs> but you can also use the what a horrible thing. But you can also use those thumbs to send us a review on wherever you get your podcasts. It helps out the show and it don't cost you nothing. All right. Well, I've told you to sell your thumbs to thumb perverts and that's the fat lady singing of this middle section of D&D Minus if ever there was one. So I'll let you get back to the show. Thanks for listening. Okay, I'm going to climb back onto this uh, island as best I can first. Absolutely. Well, wait, isn't he engaged Yeah, you're going to take a, an attack of opportunity from the shark because it's literally clamped onto you. Sorry, I, I, I'm licking boots yet again. Here. No, no, I was going to... No worries, I was going to call that one. So, see if you take a little damage on the worry. <laughs> Why are you Liza Minnelli? I don't know why that was a voice. I don't know. <laughs> we could use more Liza Minnelli. I'll say that out loud. Oh, you know, what? I'll DM the next arc as Liza Minnelli. As Liza. Oh my God. Liza Minnelli. I don't know if I've told this story on the air before, but what better time than now? I took a dance class when I first came in to the city and Liza Minnelli would take it too. And she would just, she wasn't super mobile at the time. And so she would just like sing along to the music and like she had vertigo make noises and be like ha yes but it was Liza Minnelli so it was also really good it was fucking nuts anyways you are uh, you have scrambled up onto this uh, wooden plank okay so I'm on the thing and now I would like to attack uh chain flail ooh all right so you stare at this sort of uh, ribbon of paper snakiness 
And don't uh, forget the bardic inspiration. Yep. Yeah, don't forget that you have a bardic inspiration. Uh, roll that dice for me. All right. That's a fifteen to hit. That will not hit. Plus D eight. You didn't let me finish. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 17 to hit. 17 will hit. You yeah. Boom. slice this paper chain right in the middle. The two weaving chains weave around themselves and turn into two adorable paper balls in the air in front of you. And I catch one in my mouth. Dispater's voice <laughs> booms from around you and says, Ooh, those ones are looking confedly. What? 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 Like con confetti, confetti, but, but confetti? they're dead. But what's the but L? What's the other one? Sorry, guy from the PA. What did that mean? No, you can't <laughs> talk to me. No, I'm not taking any notes. Look how cute the confettis are that I made, guys. But why oh, I can't see them. They just L. look like little dots. Thank you. Because the name is over Get the thing. Get in there. Thing. Zoom in and look at them. What's the beginning of the Edley? Yeah, the confetti. Na the name is over the thing. I'm not taking questions. Because they're oh, deadly? Oh, it looks like a little Junimo. And I need you to stand behind me like I'm making an apology for my affair as I <laughs> say that I won't be taking any questions for the name Confedly. Now, here's what I will also say, Beefleton. Deadly Confetti. We're going with Deadly, deadly oh, Confetti. Oh, yes. Deadly Confetti. Thank All right. you. Stretch. All right, you have another <laughs> attack. Morgan, your character dies. Damien has a heart attack. <laughs> And he dies. He dies of death. Okay, I guess I'm more curious now about what happens next with the Confedlies, so I'm going to hit one of them. Ooh, all right. Roll that attack roll for me. All right. Yeah, it's a 23 to hit. That's going to fucking hit. Yeah, you come down with this sword and cleanly slice this Confedly in half, and there's a pause as the two pieces of paper float gently to the ground below you. And lie still. Okay. All right. Gravy, that is your turn. I think I just reduced something to zero, so I get to attack again. Yes, you Ooh, do. Oh, yes. I forgot. Job, Thank you, Eve. Gravy. Thank you, other Eliza Minnelli, I think. <laughs> God, we God, slowly God, are all turning. Are we where Eliza Minnelli's, guys? We have to tell Heath if you're aware. <laughs> if, tell Heath if you're aware, Eliza Minnelli. Where right. Minnelli? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to attack the, uh, the other Confedly. We're one away. Do it. All right. That is a 14 to hit. Mm. That will not hit. Plus. Nope. Do I have anything? Nope. No more. No more bardic inspiration for you, I'm afraid. I'm trying to play with the ball this whole time, by the way. You are absolutely, yeah, <laughs> trying to play with the confetti. Or the, or the chain flail. I guess or that's more of flail, a cat yeah, no. thing. That's more. Yeah, mine's still a shark. That's why I don't care for it. <laughs> you guys are like fighting with swords and me and a tumor like barely pushing a lone shark with like our hands in the water. Like, yeah. <laughs> We're the same. We're all equal. Yep, yeah. totally. Just doing like <laughs> You're doing a good job over there, bud. <laughs> Thank you for that bardic, whatever the fuck it was. <laughs> Gravy, the lone shark behind you is going to make one of those diving attacks at you. So do a dexterity saving throw for me. You're looking for a 20 to dodge this attack. Or a dexterity saving throw? Mm-hmm. Fuck. Yeah, that's a six. That's a six. Okay, so I'm going to roll that attack. That is going to be a 13. Will that hit? 13 will not hit. They will not hit. Can I say this is very on brand for a golden retriever? <laughs> yeah. Not, not known very for their dexterous. dexterity. Yeah. <laughs> no. Very charismatic. Oh, yeah. All right. It's Cursed Lone Shark's turn. Remind me, he has a uh, disadvantage on his attacks, right? No. He has to uh, make a wisdom saving throw. And if he fails it, he does not get an attack. Ooh, we love this. Mm -hmm. All right. Wisdom saving throw. That's going to be an eight, so he will fail. He will fail that. Yes, he has to hit a Yeah, so higher. this lone shark just looks up at you menacingly, sort of snaps its jaws a bit. We're all safe, though, so that's good. Except gravy. I wanted to get attacked. Oh, that no. That was a mistake on my part. My Wait, bad. how did he disappear? He <laughs> dives beneath the water. Never to be seen again? This lone shark glares at you with hatred in its eyes and then dives beneath the water. Um... And you can no longer see it. Okay. All right. So the chain flail in front of you, Gravy, is going to attempt to snake up you and strangle you. Ooh. Have you attempted charming it? Have I tried to charm it? 
that's a natural one. So this <laughs> chain flail leaps out and goes sailing into the water behind you, flops sort of sadly onto the water, starts to burble down into the water below. Nice. I did actually charm it. That's why that happened. Oh, Ooh, see, it's all coming together. Turns out I'm a little bit more likable than everybody thought. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> one more lone shark to attack. Gravy, make that dexterity saving throw for me. Dexterity saving throw? Yes, please. Got it. That's a 15. Ooh, save. close but no cigar, I'm afraid. What? I'd have given you the dodge. Wait, what's attacking me now? The lone shark. But that is only a seven. So it once again goes sailing past you and splashes into the water behind you. This is a weird TV show. It a is. A dog on an island just dodging shit. Just dodging shit around. <laughs> I'd watch it. I feel like I'm not dodging stuff, though. It's jumping out and I'm like <laughs> trying to grab it. Exact words I was going to say is I would watch a show where people just attacked. Well, no, I wouldn't like them to attack. No, you Were they just like attacked that. Heath, though? Because I'm not likable. <laughs> Who wouldn't watch a show where, oh. no, hey, Heath. Hey, Gravy's, Gravy's not likable. <laughs> You're the heart and soul of this podcast. <laughs> cool, that sounded genuine. Gravy's likable. There you go. See? Gravy's likable. A true right. doesn't like him, but, Gravy, uh, but Anna likes him. But Anna him. likes him. And she's an avid listener. I am. There you go. Thank you, Anna. I can talk to you too. <laughs> Ooh, I love this. All right, Vardos, you are up. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do sort of a leaping sword attack thing. Ooh. Yeah, I'm going to throw my sword into this lone shark. Yep. And then as I jump by, I'm going to get it back like that. Oh, right. Ooh. All right. So you're going to leap over this shark. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to attack him and be like, hey, like the fuck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and attack him. All right. I love it. I'm going to give him an attack of opportunity. Give me one second. Can I give him disadvantage by distracting him at, with dog stuff? I wish. If only. What dog stuff? That's the question. That's a 19? <laughs> yeah, I 19 do the thing where if you hold a pug above water, they think they're swimming, but they're actually Yes, yes. amazing. <laughs> but you do it to yourself. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> Anna fell back in the water. Oh, no. <laughs> that is just six points of damage for you, Vardas. So you get this little, it jumps out and grabs you for a little chomp takes a tiny chunk out of your ankle but you turn around and plunge your sword in run that uh roll that attack for me 16 16 should hit that does not hit yeah all right yeah yeah i was gonna say i couldn't remember for sure i have the bardic inspiration so i could keep going on it but uh i i'm gonna attack him again roll it and i has a 24 oh, oh and that will absolutely yeah. hit so now we have more chain flails to attack. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Chain flail, the lone shark slikes cleanly in half, and two more chain flails appear on the island around you. Now, this is an interesting thing. Mm -hmm. All right, we're going to have a little fun here. One of these chain flails, sorry, give me one second. Grabbing my chain flails. There are a lot of frogs that I'm having to navigate around there are podcast 30 listener. Frogs, in case you're actually, wondering I was why. going to say at my turn, but I was being polite and I didn't want to. Oh, I was just a giant frog. <laughs> yes. 30 <laughs> frogs and one giant frog. So Vardos, this is going to turn into two chain flails, as is the spirit. But here's the thing: there's no room on this island. So we're going to do a little mini strength roll here. If you can hit a 10 in a strength challenge. This chain flail, this second chain flail that just appeared, is going to land in the water where it'll be much more useless than it would be on the land. But if you roll lower than a 10, it's going to land grappled onto you. All right. Uh, that's a nine! <gasps> no! nine. You hate to see it, but yeah, this... Uh, Add the bardic inspiration to it. I feel like I got better uses for the bardic inspiration, but thank you. I mean... He can always re give you give it to you again next turn. Okay, yeah, yeah Bardic or yeah. no, because I, I used or no, I didn't use it. That's right. I you did use it. Yeah, this so I do. I, yeah, I will. I will roll. Don't even the, need to roll it. It's a definite. Yeah, yeah, right. It doesn't matter. Yeah. It's it's greater Excellent. than zero. Hell yeah! But your memory. So you reach out to push this chain flail away, and your your arms are just so exhausted from 
jumping back and forth and protecting your comrades. You you don't have the spirit to do it, but then you look into Dark Crane's eyes. Yeah. And you remember how genuinely awesome the song Iron Man is and the chain <laughs> flail goes splashing into the water next to this wooden dock that you are standing on. And I believe that's your turn, correct? That is my turn. Oh, wait, no, I can, I want to cast Sanctuary on Gravy as a bonus action. Ooh, I think you've done that already, but read that spell description just for a reminder. I haven't done that already. I think Ooh, I right, did nice. last uh, I was going to say, I haven't arc. used a single uh, spell slot. Oh, yeah. So Sanctuary, you ward a creature within range against attack until the spell ends. Any creature who targets the warded creature with an attack or a harmful spell must first make a wisdom saving throw. On a failed save, the creature must choose a new target or lose the attack or spell. This spell doesn't protect the warded creature against area effects. Love it. Thank you, by the way. I feel very safe. All right. Achoom, you are up. Oh, yeah. Me and my 31 frogs who have joined the audience. (laughs) I'm going to utilize them. I did not have the opportunity to tell our podcast audience just how many fucking frogs you have added to our map. 31? You can it's kind of freaking me out. I'm going to be honest. Uh, yeah, it's, it's weird because you'll be going around the map and you'll be like, oh, what's it's another frog that Anna added. Yeah. Here's the point. Okay, I am going to... Ooh, I have poison spray. They're so symmetrical, though. Summon some locusts to go with the frogs? No. Oh, very funny. I love it. No, I'm going to, um, but I am going to do a biblical thing. I'm going to fire both them again from the skies. Ooh. Let's see. I can only get one of them at this with this one. (sighs) Yes, I'm going to fire both. I'm going to fire both this lone shark. Should I do the lone shark or get rid of the confetti first? Hmm. Probably the loan shark so we can start. I would think the confetti just because that's fewer attacks. I think the attacks. confetti just because we don't want another person to attack. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to get the confetti. Nice. Roll that attack roll for me. All right. Yeah, we're not really a group attack group, are we? We're not like a... That's a... I mean, I have them, but you guys are in the way. Oh. 17 to hit. Yeah, that'll hit. Nice. Which I believe does hit. Excellent. Mm-hmm. And that confetti just bursts into flame. Oh, and right. Vanishes. I don't have to roll attack. Okay. No cool. attack necessary. All right. You're welcome, everybody. All righty oh, then. Oh, wait. Actually, now, now I can move all the way back toward the fucking wall. All right. Achum, <laughs> you start to step towards the back <gasps> no! wall. Wait. Nope. Nope. You oh, said the words. Shit. Make a dexterity saving throw for me. Fuck. Okay. Okay. Because this whole time, Damien's had a finger dipped in the water just trying to get, <laughs> get the shark shot. That's an 11. That will fail. Go oh, fuck. But that one's still cursed, though. Doesn't it have to make a wisdom saving throw to make an attack? Oh, oh. it does. Yes. See, my boot lickiness works both ways. That's it does right. work both ways. That's does right. Not. I'm yes, a narc indeed. for everyone. Chaotic, <laughs> yeah. neutral. You're a narc for the law. No illusions. <laughs> Well, not no illusions. No illusions is no narc. Mm -hmm. Yeah. uh So, Achum, you start to walk back towards the back of this dock further away from the water. Uh And there's an ominous bubbling in the water below you. And the (gasps) lone shark's fin once again appears. Ooh, I hate that. I was really hoping you'd forgotten about that one. I thought for a (laughs) second you'd forgotten about that one. I hate that a lot. Um, does anything happen? No, but you can go wherever you want to go. Oh, fuck yeah. I'm going to go back here toward the wall. That's right. Yes. Uh, Choom does what we call in the business cowering. Yes, <laughs> indeed. So one of these waterlogged chain flails is up. I'm going to give them disadvantage because they're not naturally water creatures. They're not paper eels. I mean, come on. let's be. This one is going to try and slide up your leg and grapple you, Vardas. Ooh. <laughs> Hot. I'm chased. I'm chased. Well, <laughs> if only you had the experience of tentacle tent. 17. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, 17 doesn't hit. 17 doesn't hit. All right. So this thing, this thing attempts to sneak around up your leg, but you just kick it off back down into the water. Fuck yeah, I do. All righty. Hell yeah. Nice. Damien, you are up. Okay. I am going to... Okay, so this lone shark... Three is. <laughs> Let me ruler him. Are you still like s- trying to like s- 
summon it like a squirrel? <laughs> like, I, do, I want to, yeah. He's five feet away. Oh, come on. You would just have to drop a little blood in the way. You don't have blood. Come on. You've got blood. You know <laughs> Damien blood, has like a I vial of blood. It right, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah. <laughs> got it at Hot Topic. So I am going to... Has someone been moving my frogs? Or deleting them? I have no idea what you're even asking. Someone's been moving frogs. my frogs on top of everyone's head. I'm so zoomed in because we're using 4% of this map that I had <laughs> even other frogs. <laughs> so, no idea. I'm going to move right to the corner of the dock and kind of sit down and dangle my legs over the side and kind of play Wonder Wall on my loot. Cool. Wow, Wonder Wall. And I'm going to say to Chain Flail 2, hey, rock beats paper. Uh, paper beats rock. That's wrong. No, I know. That's what I, I'm trying to make him attack me. Got it. Yeah. It's the ultimate goading attack to a piece of paper. It worked <laughs> on no, it Henry, exactly. let alone. It's, yeah. Yeah. I was like, no, it doesn't. Oh, sorry. I see what you're doing. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm going to cast True Strike on the Chain Flail 2 as well. Yes. And I'm going to sing, wake up, and grab a brush and put a little makeup. Hide the scars <laughs> to fade away the shakeup. Why'd you leave the keys upon the table? Because I wanted to. At Chain Flail 2 and be like, I'm going to give him the rock on sign and be like, rock beats paper loser. All right. Rock Beats Paper is a fucking fantastic action movie catchphrase for this fight. Just <laughs> want to throw that out there. Uh, yeah, roll that attack roll for me. Well, I haven't attacked him. I'm just trying to get him to attack me. What What did you do? You just played a song? He's yeah, and I taunted him. him. Oh, okay, uh, give me a persuasion roll then. Okay. And I also cast True Strike, which essentially gives me advantage on an attack on him. Okay, lovely. Yeah. So a persuasion roll as well? Yes, please. Okay. 18. Oh, yeah. He is enraged. He's fucking coming for you, baby. Okay. He hates um, whatever that band you just <laughs> said. <Just> down. <laughs> Heath, it's your turn on the podcast. <laughs> All right. So I have like some kind of safety aura going, right? You do. And I've got two waterlogged chain flails and a one not waterlogged chain flail. Yeah, so to update the podcast listeners, because you don't have a handy-dandy map like we do here in the D&D Minusverse, there are currently three chain flails surrounding Gravy. One is on the land with him, two are in the water. One has just been coaxed into fighting Damien Dark Crane, but the other two have their eyes on him and Vardos. Also, there's two lone sharks left. And more than 31 frogs. <laughs> and more than 31 frogs, that's right. In the audience. A lot of giant frogs now. Only three. I kept. Oh, really? I'm I'm zoomed in. Oh. I assume there was more that I couldn't see. <laughs> and Achum, make a perception check. Oh, oh no, <laughs> oh no, perception. There's going to be like a giant paper frog monster in a second. Seventeen. Seventeen with a seventeen. You know who else is sitting in the audience <gasps> eating one big piece of popcorn? Fucking yeah. Bartholomew, Bartholomew the mouse. Bartholomew the hell mouse. <laughs> God damn it. He flips you off when he notices you see him. I flip him off. I don't even have opposable fingers and I flip him off. Sorry, Heath, that was just color for the uh, podcast. Go ahead. Your turn. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing over there? Are you trying to give the finger <laughs> to a rat or something? Yeah, fuck off. Fuck off. All right. Okay. I hate that guy. Okay. I hate that guy. Sure. Sure. Big piece of popcorn. Fuck you, question, man. Question fuck for you. <laughs> I hope you die. <laughs> Fuck, I hope you die. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to murder you. You wish you could kill me. You can't kill me. Ah, this is him right here. I'm going to be someone's character if you die. God. <laughs> think I won't. I feel like Noah's getting a little bored of Vardos. You guys are really fucking around on this thing. If he gets bored of Vardos, bitch, you better believe he can do this. This is just talking in the back of your mouth. Oh, <laughs> okay, Gravy, go ahead. Stop. Should I like do something or are you guys done? <laughs> Hey, Heath, I've never been more confident that the rest of this goddamn podcast could just be <laughs> Achoom and Bartholomew the Hellmouse talking shit back and forth. So it, it's imperative that you do something. That you know, yeah. While you're doing that, I'm going to fight this chain thing. Uh, <laughs> Eli, question for you about this universe. Yes. We're on the set of a game show, correct? Yes, you are. 
is there crafty? <laughs> um, yeah, but it's it's nowhere near you. So you're in a, but I can smell it, right? You can smell it, yeah. Uh, but just to give you an idea, you are in a coliseum and the walls all around you are hundreds of feet high and you see various audience members looking down at you from a height with various things. So climbing out of this coliseum would be quite the feat. I'm not saying you can't. I'm saying it would be a wildly difficult thing for you to do. Yeah. If I'm being honest, I, I wasn't planning on climbing out. I just later was thinking of getting a snack at the end. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, there's crafty. And it's good crafty, too. It good it's crafty? not that okay. like, yeah, it's not the usual one. It's the one, it's one of the fun ones that does like themed days. Like there was Ooh. Taco Tuesday. Oh, what's today? Today is Wednesday. And they did Taco Tuesday yesterday. So there's always sort of a weird thing. So it's a soup bar. Like a soup bowl bar where you make your own soup bowls. Okay. Well, that sucks. Like bread bowl soup? What? You don't like a soup bowl? Who does like a bread bowl? You didn't say bread, bread bowls. Bowl. You said soup bowl. You did not. I meant bread bowl. I oh, meant okay. bread Oh, okay. In that case, it's awesome. It's huh? a make your own bread bowl bar. Like, oh, like loaded baked potato soup inside of a bread bowl? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Whatever Is kind of available? bread bowl you want, man. They got okay. chili. They got. Is this. Uh, are you chowders. trying to understand, make me understand what it's like to hear me talk about frogs? I get it now. Okay. <laughs> All right, I understand. Maybe the frogs just jumped <laughs> on them statues by themselves, Anna. Did you even think yeah, about that? Yeah, did you consider that? Maybe I put them there, and I've been slowly revealing them throughout the uh, quest. All right. Okay, so I'm going to attack <laughs> the chain flail on this little island in front of us. Wonderful. So you can take a slash at this chain flail. Roll that attack for me. That's a 17. 17. That will hit. Nice. Two more confettis. Two more confettis appear. I refuse the pun. <laughs> um, so I killed something, so I'm going to take that bonus. Take that bonus action. You get two attacks, right? Yeah, but also a bonus because I just killed something. Yes. So keep in mind, you can do your bonus whenever you want, but remember, you only get one bonus action. But if I kill another one, I get another bonus action. You do not. Yeah, we worked that out last time. You actually only get one bonus action, even if your power consists of giving you a bonus action. Oh, just because I do, but you don't like that. So it's Tira lick my balls and I don't get that. It's, it's actually not a case of Tira lick my balls. It is a case of you can't have infinite bonus actions. You only get one bonus action. Well, it wouldn't be infinite. Okay, it's fine. I'm going to use my second regular attack to hmm. attack Confedly 4 that's now spelled differently. Wonderful. Yeah, I spelled them all differently as I was going because it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Roll that attack for me. That's an 11. Oh. That will not hit. No. All right. But you do have that bonus attack because you did kill something. All right. And I'm going to use that now. Rolling again. Yes. 26. Oh, that'll hit. Yes. And so that was a 19, but my character actually gets a crit for 19s and 20s. Oh, yes. And in a critical, here's what I'll give you. Actually, in a critical hit, you hit both confetlies in front of you. Nice. All right. Movements. Bon well, you did your bonus action. Movements. Anything? Can I use other stuff that's not attacking in my inventory at all? Run it by me. I want to say yes. All right. So what I would like to do is take out my rations kit and chum the water a little bit to make the sharks go away from us for a second while we deal with the rest ah, of it. That's, that's too much. You, you just did three attacks. I'm not going to let you pull out <laughs> ration kits and throw them in. That's, uh, Chumming's a lot. Chum, chumming's a full action <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> right. You can speak, you can't chum. Yeah, you can speak. Chumming is not a free action. <laughs> All right, so I start to pull out my rations, and then <laughs> and Damien slowly lowers my hand back down. It's not the time. <laughs> nah, you just pop one in your mouth and eat it. Yeah, I shouldn't be allowed to do that. I, this is for me. I just want to eat this. I eat some jerky. You got, got a treat. You got eat a some treat because you're a good boy. It gains you no know help.
Did we lose Heath, or was I think he? I, sent I, he into was a offended by the frothing the rage of that. that bit. I did. I think it's the frothing rage. All I think these we lost frogs him. are starting to freak me out. Yeah, I let me don't I, know podcast what you're listener. About. While we wait for Heath to get okay, back, I'm on back. The, Am I likable now enough to <laughs> do my fucking turn? <laughs> <laughs> Is that cool, everybody? If I do my turn, God damn it. The preceding podcast was a production of Puzzle and a Thunderstorm LLC. Copyright 2024. All rights reserved.